If you are deaf or hard of hearing and have an intellectual disability and you receive support services at home or with your peers, you have a right to effective communication with your staff. What is effective communication? It is communication that is clear enough so you get the same services that hearing people get. Your support team will meet to discuss your plans and goals. Your team will ask what you would like for effective communication. You need to let the team know what you prefer. There are many different ways of communicating, whether it is with a sign language interpreter, cart services, assistive listening devices, writing back and forth, or lip reading. You are allowed a friend, family member, or interpreter at the meeting to help express what you need at home or work for effective communication. If you cannot tell them what you need, just keep gesturing that communication between you and others is a big problem. and that you need to express your feelings. Staff must listen and try to figure out the best way for you to have effective communication. They may not always be able to give you exactly what you ask for, but they must give you the best help they can. If the help they give you does not work, you should tell them it is not working and they will need to find a way that works for you. What are some accommodations? Meeting with the staff face-to-face -face so you are able to lip read what is being said. Using hearing and deaf certified or PA state registered sign language interpreters. CART services, which is communication access real-time translations when a person uses a special machine to type everything that is said on a computer so you can read what others are saying. Giving you hearing aids or using other hearing equipment that makes it easier for you to hear what other people are saying. Putting in a video phone, amplification on the telephone to increase the volume, or a TTY. During a large group or meeting, asking for everyone to take turns so you are able to follow the conversation. You can ask for the participants to raise their hand and wait to be identified before speaking. So there is clear communication. talking to you in a room that is quiet or does not have a lot of background noise. Asking staff to repeat themselves until you fully understand what is being said to you. teaching you to read better.
teaching you more sign language. Giving you staff who are deaf or are fluent in American Sign Language. Finding you people to live with who are deaf or are fluent in American Sign Language. Helping you find places where other deaf and hard of hearing people who use sign language go to meet and talk like church, bowling, or other social events. If you are a deaf or hard of hearing person with an intellectual disability, who do you ask to make sure you have good communication? Your support coordinator, case manager, staff, family or friends who support you. You need to tell them what you need for effective communication. If you live in a home with staff who supports you, tell the staff you need clear communication. Tell them, I don't understand, every time you don't understand them. If you can, tell them what would make communication better. If you go to work or a day program, Tell the staff or supervisor there that you need clear communication. You have a right to effective communication at work to learn more things. If you need equipment, like a video phone, TTY or amplification on your telephone, ask for it. If you have friends who are deaf that you want to meet with to go out to different social events like church or bowling, it is your responsibility to inform your staff you want to go out with your friends. In Pennsylvania, interpreters must be certified. As a deaf or hard of hearing person, you may encounter an interpreter who is very skilled and meets your needs for clear communication. You have a right to request that person to interpret for you, but you must first sign a waiver stating that you are willing to accept this interpreter even though they are not certified. As they are interpreting, you realize you do not understand what is being said. You then have the right to change your mind and ask for a certified interpreter. You will have to sign another form. These two forms are found on the internet at the Pennsylvania Office of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, ODHH. Go to the website and you can print out both forms. If you still don't get what you need for clear communication, tell a friend or family member who supports you to file a complaint. You can make a complaint at the following place.
If you need more information or need help, please contact the Intake Unit at the Disability Rights Network of Pennsylvania, DRN. Our phone number is 800-692-7443. Another option is TDD at 877-375-7139. Or you can email us at intake at drnpa.org. Website www.drnpa.org. The Disability Rights Network was set up to advance, protect, and advocate for human, civil, and legal rights for people with disabilities who live in Pennsylvania. Since our time and money is limited, the Disability Rights Network cannot help every individual who needs help with advocacy and legal problems. The Disability Rights Network picks the cases that have the best chance to help as many people with disabilities as possible throughout Pennsylvania. While we cannot help everyone, we do want to give everyone information and referral options. Important, these videos are for general information only. Just seeing these videos does not mean that the Disability Rights Network is your lawyer. Please understand, these videos are not the same thing as talking with a lawyer about your specific problem. This project is supported by a grant from the Pennsylvania Developmental Disabilities Council.